Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to teach you how we can easily run a payroll in a WAVE accounting software. So let's start. When you want to enter WAVE, you want to click here on the payroll. First thing first, I need to add employees. So I will just add an employee and I will try to make it quick because uh, this is like the simple thing. So I'll go Marcus Stone, home address, email, like this. Date of hire, let's say March, work location, uh, employee always works from home, wage type, let's say annually or per hour, and let's say 15. Now this requires employee banking information or no, it's not going to be direct deposit. And then you're gonna have vacation policy. Uh, you can have it as a payout vacation time for this employee, save employee. Save. Okay, so now we got really quick employee. I wanted to just like uh, done adding employees. And now you can add also uh, contractors. And then you're going to see the business thing here. Add uh, details. You need to uh, get your RAS and document. So that's something you will need. I'll try to work around it uh, to actually show you how you can work with it. Okay, established year, business description. Have you paid any employees this year? No. Okay, let's see if it's going to work out. Okay, here we have got it. I just uh, want to show you how it actually works. Now, you just have to also get a pay schedule here. So set the schedule. Now choose your payroll frequency every week, every other week, twice a month or once a month. So let's say I'm going to do once a month and default pay day two, 30 days max or after payroll ends. So I'm going to 31. And now you see that here's the example how your payroll schedule would look based on the settings above. Start, finish, payday 31st of Friday or Saturday 1st. So this is the start, this is the finish, and always the, the first day is going to be April, 1st, May. I'm going to pay them, right? You can also set it for every week, every other week, or twice a month, or once a month. Save and continue. Now, as you can see, we got employees. What you can do is also add contractors. And now I have our business information, business details as a legal name, federal employer ID number, work address, business type, when my company was established, business description, business website, and that's pretty much it. Okay, I didn't want this thing. So let's go back even now. Let's go back. Uh, another thing what you can do is to simply add company signatory, funding account, and tax profile. So that's something we need to also add. Uh, I'm not going to add signature and also not bank account. That's pretty straightforward how we can do it. I'm going to also add a tax profile with your employer and get the state tax notices. So this is under taxes. And you just like edit everything for the federal, federal information and state information. Just completely up to you what you got the data. Then you can have like the text forms here, payroll transactions and timesheets. So in the timesheets, you would see to add overtime, uh, vacation, other additional hours, use the arrow text to the employee's name. So uh, this is the employee and I can simply add the timesheet here, the hours. Now what to do here and how to run the payroll. I click here on the payroll. And now, so let's see, we got a start and we add payday 1st May. Uh, to your total payroll cost is zero. So what I can do is to simply go to timesheets. And let's say I'm going to add like here, I don't know, 
five and two save hours now i would go to employees i would see uh, the employee right here and then i will click here on payroll and uh, payroll is going to be calculated so you would see always uh, your total payroll costs is uh, right here what you can do is to simply click here review payroll notices and you need to add tax raised tax details and just like uh, solve all the notices that you're gonna have here and then you would have simple payroll summary here that you need to payroll cost a month and pay statement right you can edit the hours save and you would see always right here see your total payroll costs is review payroll notice and i can see what i have to pay but first thing first what you need to do is always solve all the notices here i know that this was a little bit clumsy tutorial but i don't have that much experience personally with the payrolling i just wanted to show you how to do it i hope this video wasn't that bad it was like kind of at least a little bit helpful what you can actually uh, do with a wave payrolling i hope someone in the future will make the video on this topic because my experience with the payrolling is not that great so but still thank you very much guys for watching i hope you're going to have a great day and have a great day and goodbye see ya